Hi everybody, Steven Flag here and welcome back to Flagcraft Divergence. If you remember last time I showed you all the Armors Workshop mod in the, sh in the crappiest type of uh, tutorial you could ever see. I hope you all went and checked out other people's videos on the mod because it is an amazing mod and I did not do it, do it justice. Uh, this week we're going to take a look at the rest of the mods that we unlocked just to see how they're going to help us out. And uh, I'd, I'd also like to note, uh, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto online and holy crap there's a lot of assholes online and that's all I have to say about that so <laughs> no I just had a couple of bad experiences with people just randomly coming up and shooting you in the head like how freaking random is it? and then you getting booted because they want to play with their friends on the server what the hell is that shit yeah so you're gonna you're gonna put a mark on my thing and collectively boot me out so you could play with your friends on the server and that's going to make me look bad screw you Rockstar, you got to really do something about that. Um, I, I'm a pretty clean player, guys. I, I, I don't cause chaos. I don't cause trouble. So, okay, what were we doing? Why am I getting? Why am I talking about GTA? Uh, okay, so um, <laughs> all right. So let's. We're gonna jump in. We're actually gonna take a look at all of these mods that we unlocked. Now, first one was Project Red. Now, let's see what Project Red offers us. Now, the one thing it does offer us, which is really cool, these red alloy ingots, uh, but there is the, uh, where is it? Illuminar buttons. These, uh, these alloy, these uh, insulated wires. Uh, these wires are amazing because you can just lay them along things and they run over the top of things and they'll run up and down and you can run them anywhere and you can actually put them on the on the back side of a wall and they still carry the redstone signal so that's how I used to do lamps in in uh, in other series uh, you know you could put a lamp here but and uh, the redstone could be on the opposite side with that red alloy wire and you, you, you know you, you get the point it, it looks really cool so, uh, that's basically all it really has to offer for us, isn't it, uh, for now. There's no power. Okay, we can make woven cloth, bundle pl wire plates. There's a whole bunch of different types of lamps and lanterns. Uh, more fixtures. Okay, Project Red is a lot of lights, but it does have that redstone wire, alloy wire that we want. So, that, that's not going to help us in the future. So, let's go to Traveler's Gear. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I got a cough. <coughs> I'm still not feeling so hot. We've got our armor stand, uh, which uh, it's exactly what it is. A cloak. Oh, I can wear a cloak. That's kind of cool. Belt, gold ring, pauldrons. And then we've got these title scrolls, which are just basically it gives you a name, doesn't it? That's really all it does. And then this is just gear. I, I suppose the gear gives you bonuses. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. A uh, gold one is with gold nuggets and gold ingots and gold coins. Uh, regular belt is... Okay, is it... Is it purely decorational or is it... Well, let's go see. Iron and three pieces of leather. I can do that. So let's go uh, with uh, a piece of iron and three pieces of leather. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, and that is a belt from Traveler's Gear. Now, <coughs> the belt slot, sorry guys, <coughs> I'm, I'm dying here. Is that the belt slot? No. Hmm, okay, so does Traveler's Gear have its own menu as well? Let's see. Yes, we're still in peaceful. Uh, Traveler's Gear... Traveler's Gear. Does not have... Really? Wayla, Tinkers. Uh, simply jetpacks, railcraft, pneumatocraft, open computers, multiplayer, movement, miscellaneous. Uh, okay, uh... Explain to me how to get to the belt slot. <laughs> how, do, how, do, how do I get to the belt slot? Oh, is it in baubles? It's in baubles, isn't it? Yes, it's in baubles. Okay, so obviously this belt gave me no 
bonuses, but if I take these off, ah, you can see it, but it, it also, look at that, it made the belt around my hands, too, like I'm wearing gloves. Well, that's, that's kind of cool. I like it. I'm actually going to keep it on because it looks like I'm wearing gloves now. Okay, so uh, that's what Traveler's Gear does for us, along with these uh, scrolls that we collected. Where are they? They go Righteous Defender, Prospector of Titan, Fox in a Box. Fox in a Box? <laughs> Fox in a Box? Okay, so that's going into my... This... <laughs> where, where, where do I put... <laughs> Where, where, where does that go? Where does the scroll go? To give me a title, the fox in a box. Do I, do I have to click it or something? No? Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. That's really, that's really, again, that's just a useless thing. That's not really going to help us. But it's, it's kind of cool in the end. Uh, next, we have chisel. We know what chisel gives us, so there's no point in checking out chisel. Uh, pra was there wallpapers? Now, these wallpaper things look kind of cool, but again, it's just a, uh, what is it, just paper? It's, uh, again, it is just a decorational thing. So, no point looking at the wallpaper. Practical logistics. What do we have here? We have foraging hammer, uh, data cable, Info reader, inventory reader, fluid reader, energy reader, data receiver, data emitter, display screens, holographic display. What is this? Channel selector, info creator, clock. Clock? A transceiver and a stone plate. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any power, uh, but practical logistics looks like uh, it has something to do with uh, your inventory. Uh, Cat, what are you doing back there? He's just tearing bags apart. So I could make myself... What are these? How do you make stone plates? You need a forging hammer. Maybe we'll make a clock at some point, guys. Just Oh, is that... That's the forging hammer right there. That's a hammer? That looks weird. Okay, we're going to take a look at practical logistics. Uh, probably next episode, guys. We're going to play around with this and see what this can do for us. So what else did we get? We also did Z-Tones. And again, guys, I'm sorry this is going to be a boring episode, but we have to do this. We have to know where we're going in this mod pack, and I might as well do it along with you so that you can see what's there and you can tell me what you would like to see. Uh, Z-Tones is just a whole bunch of blocks with different colors and those cool lights. So we know Z-Tones. So let's get rid of that. We had modular defenses, but I don't think it goes under modular defenses. I think it's under, well, maybe it is. Yeah, okay, modular armor is blocked, so it's, all right, so uh, modular, open modular turrets. Yes, okay, so let's do it like this. Let's go open. Mod there we go. Open modular turrets. Okay, so uh, with open modular turrets, you can create these turret bases. Uh, then you have, it looks like you can put a power expansion on it. And inventory expansion, so that must be for bullets. Uh, hard walls. Fences. Oh, cool. Cool. How do you make normal fences, tier 1 fences? Oh, those look kind of cool. Those are cool looking fences. We're going to make some of those. Uh, then we've got our turrets. Potato cannon, gun turret, incendiary turret, oh, ammo type, blazing clay, grenade launcher turret, how do I make grenades, I can make grenades, a relativistic turret, rocket launcher, a teleporter turret, what does that do, it's like strong lance strands of spaghetti, but in 11 dimensions, oh, uh, okay, rail gun turret, basic gun turret, that's a throwable bullet, <laughs> throwable, how do I make a grenade, oh, there's no recipe, so then you've got all your upgrades that you can put inside of your turrets themselves. Uh, sensors. I suppose that's so that it attacks people uh, or mobs or not people. Okay, now how do you d create these? Uh, okay, so this is... <laughs> okay, let's look at a turret base. Uh, the only difficult thing in there is that sensor, which is just made with wood and redstone. Okay, easily. Uh, let's take a look at... Okay, let's go with a gun turret. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so we got a barrel, which is made with... Okay, that's not too bad. Then we've got these, the iOS buses. Okay, that's not bad either. These aren't too, too bad. And... All right, we can definitely make one of these. And you know what? I'm pretty sure we actually have a few open modular... We have three turret bases already, and we have three three actual turrets. So as soon as I figure how to, out how to get these things set up, uh, maybe we'll do that next episode too. We'll set up a turret and just see how it works. I do believe it's going to need power, though. I'm pretty sure they're all powered. Okay, uh, more, more mods. The last few that we checked out here, guys. And then we can end this episode and get back to doing stuff. Uh, we looked at Armor's Workshop. It was cooking for blockheads. So cooking for blockheads, I've never seen before. There is a multi-block kitchen cooking table, enables crafting. We have a cooking oven, which is a smeltery, basically. We have a fridge, provides, contain provides contained ingredients for recipes. Maybe it keeps it cool so it, the food doesn't rot. Uh, we have a sink, which provides water. Are you kidding me? I can make a sink? Let's make a fucking sink. Uh, we have a toaster. <laughs> we can make toast! Uh, and then we have food recipe... We have these recipe books as well, uh, which are... Wow, you gotta smelt one book to get another book? That's crazy. And then what is this thing? Is it toast? That's toast! <laughs> Let's make a sink, guys! What is the other thing we have? This this is actually the last mod that we have. Let's... I, I wanna make a sink! This is, this is really cool. Uh, so a bucket of water, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five things of five logs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We, we got a bucket of water already. And we're going to need three iron ingots. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I kind of like cooking for blockheads, if this is actually what I think it is. Where's my iron? One, two, three. Hehehehe! <laughs> we just make a freaking sink? Um... Yeah, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Over here. Where's the freaking sink? No. It's just not doing anything! How does it... Oh. It says it provides what? How does this work? Sink multi-block provides water to recipes. You're not doing anything though. Uh, all right, give me. Uh, how do I make a cooking table? Oh, I need a, I need a cooking for blockheads book number two. Uh, oh Jesus! Why is cooking so difficult? This shouldn't be this difficult. Uh, was that, was that how I made that? No, no, no flag, no, no flag, there. Yeah, and it's a piece of wall, okay. and a piece of wall, so, oh, it's, it's reading out of the wrong one. I want it to read out of the other chest, I want it to read on, out of the chest on my right, not on my left. So that's what was throwing me off there, guys. Uh, and then I need a book. Okay, now let's throw these together. There's our Cooking for Blockheads No Filter Edition. Okay, so. Select an item to the right to see its recipe. What do we got? Almond butter, ambrosia, apple cider, apple juice, apple jelly, apple jelly, apple pie, apple sauce, apple... There's a lot... There's... Oh my god, there's a lot... That's beef jerky. Is it just like... Is there bacon, barbecue, pulled pork? Oh my god. <laughs> Blueberry jelly sandwich. Braised onions. Oh, just basic red. Ba basic red. Basic bread. Carrot juice. Caramel. Caramel apples. Carrot... Some of these are gross. Cheese... How do you make a cheeseburger? Uh, you make a hamburger and you add cheese. Duh. Okay, uh... <laughs> how do I make a hamburger? Do I have to go up here to H now? Sort by name. Uh, sort by sort by hunger restored. Sort by saturation. All right, 
uh, hamburger. Go all the way down to H. Jesus. Or where are we? H. I, uh, okay, hamburger. There we go. Hamburger is made with a skillet, uh, some beef, and some toast. Okay. How do I make a skillet? Jesus! You'd think it would actually give me my recipes, like, really close by. Okay, so, uh, alright, we're gonna get into this, guys. We're gonna get into this next episode. Uh, we are actually, so now we know we're going to take a quick look at practical logistics. We're going to work on modular defenses, and we're gonna get some gun turrets built up. Uh, and we are going to play around with this, uh, cooking for blockheads, because I've never done food mods before, and... I'm kind of interested now. I, I kind of want to see where this is going to go. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, our stuff out here should still be... Hi, 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 Eep. Uh, this, uh, we should maybe, maybe get out of that mode there, Flag. What are we looking at? We got 17 of them done. Uh, maybe I'll just let the, uh, let the world go here for a little while and... Hopefully get them completed. But anyhow, that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for stopping in. I know the last couple of episodes were kind of boring, but that's why I don't do tutorials. Um, uh, when you come back next time, as I said, we're going to work on the modular defenses. We're going to work on cooking for blockheads. And we're going to try to do some more cool, fun stuff because we got to be coming up on 230 episodes. And that's about the time when Flagcraft gets going, if you know what I mean about Flagcraft. Oh, I don't got... Okay, I don't know what that was. God, I get confused so easily. Check you later!